Godspeed and party on. This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com, ProBoxingSupplies.com, and Power Performance Products, makers of Body Storm and Body Effects. Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews.tv, alongside Phil Davis at Alliance Training Center. Just got a win, and here you are back training once again. Oh, yeah. Uh, doesn't stop with victory. Got to keep going, you know. Helping Jake Shields a little bit. Um, he's in town, obviously, so you offered the offered for him to come train with you a little bit? Absolutely. Um, he's in town, and he's getting ready for one of the biggest fights of his life. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's what friends are for. <laughs> so talk, talk about your win and um, how you felt and maybe what you took out of the fight. Uh, you know, it was a good fight. And, uh, uh, you know, Nigger's a legend in the sport. And uh, I'm just glad to have a win over a guy uh, who's had – the kind of success that he has, so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. You felt good with your performance? Yeah, it's, it was, it was, it was good. What did you learn? What do you think you learned most, maybe, out of that fight? Um, just, just the experience that you get from fighting um, and competing uh, is really, uh, I can't really necessarily put it into words, but. Just uh, you know, another fight, another three-round fight of uh, experience I can add to my to my short list of, of fights, and just different positions and stuff that I can, you know, add to my to my I don't know which repertoire. Um, repertoire. Yeah, exactly. I'm all out of words here. Uh, it's just it was good, and I got a great experience. Just uh, a little bit more comfortable with my fighting style and uh, with the things I can do. Talk about the switch from, it seemed like you were going for a double leg early, then you started switching to the single leg that started to work repeatedly. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's just, I don't always uh, go for a double or always go for a single. It's kind of like what's there, and what was there early on was a double, but uh, he was just really good at defending it, so I switched to a single and it just seemed to work. Did that surprise you that he was able to stop a high wrestler, a high level wrestler of yourself's takedowns like that in the beginning of the fight? No, not at all. I mean, it's his third fight against uh, a wrestler in a row. I mean, if I if I had three fights against Southpaw, um, back to back to back, it would make logical sense that this is my third camp. This is my, my third time doing the same type of preparation for the same style of fighter. Of course he's going to be better. Of course he's going to be better. It makes no sense why he shouldn't be. You know, he's a good fighter. And what's, uh, what's next for you? Where do you see, what do you want to test yourself? Uh, maybe as a next opponent possibly, or what do you feel like you have to do to get to that next title shot, I suppose, is where you're, you're aiming for? Uh, just relax, stay in the gym, um, stay focused. Keep doing what I'm doing. I don't have to do anything crazy. Uh, just relax and stay in the gym. Um, stay healthy and, uh, you know, that's about it. There's a guy, you know, Ryan Bader, obviously doesn't have a fight now. Rich Franklin, I believe. Guys like that. Is that somebody maybe you'd like to test yourself against? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't really, uh, you know, wonder who I'm going to fight next. It's just I, I stay out of... Uh, the the wondering game it, same thing even if I you know wanted to go oh, if I if I could fight this guy or that guy it, it, it really comes back to I need to be right here in the gym getting better every day and uh, that's what I'm doing anyway so it doesn't matter is it safe to say your striking is where you maybe feel like it to improve or what you're spending the most time at mm, no I, I I try to I spend time on uh, on everything you know I don't like to ever admit to any weakness you know if I say if I admit even to myself that striking is my weakness then I won't feel strong there um, m my only real weakness is uh, is, is my ex inexperience in the sport and uh, I'm, I'm trying to make up forever make up for it every day by just putting time in in the gym you know 10 o'clock on a Friday night you know <laughs> I don't know who else is doing it but I'm here so let's see Talk about the team you have here at Alliance and what what you have going on here and how clutch that's been for your progression. Um, it's great. You know, I got a 
we got a UFC champion in the house. We got Dominic Cruz, uh, Brandon Vera, Travis Brown, Joy Beltran, um, and and those are just the guys, uh, you know, the, our core fight team. And then just a ton, just a, a ton of uh, guys that are coming up, really green, a lot of talent, and um, you know we have we have a pretty good family here. I saw I know you were uh, cornering Aaron Beach at his fight at King of the Cage. That was a pretty awesome fight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, Aaron Beach is one of the guys I was thinking of. He's uh, super green. I mean, he's a really good striker, and, uh, you know, his MMA game is still coming along. And, um, you know, he's, he's going to be a really good MMA fighter pretty soon. Almost pulled out two submissions in that fight, and he and – that was an awesome fight, man. Yeah. I, I, you know, obviously he was a little bit bummed about that, the, the you know, the loss. But great fight, and, uh, you know, that's just – that's the type of fighter he is. He's tough, always. Uh, I mean, he he started out as a pro boxer, and his jiu-jitsu game was non-existent. And uh, he's come a long way. <laughs> he's come a long way, man. Yeah. Yep. Triangle and armbar. Come a long way. He's a good, a good guy, a good fighter. Okay. Well, we'll look forward to seeing him in the future. And look, thank you for the time, Phil Davis here at Alliance MMA. Godspeed and party on. This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com, ProBoxingSupplies.com, and Power Performance Products, makers of Body Storm and Body Effects.